birthday, Sue. I was just going to tell them a story why I call you Susan Honey. When you were crawling around on the floor, you used to bother your big brother, Mike. He had a gas station with little cars and trucks, and you were always after them. And this one time I noticed that he was hitting you, and I said, told him, I said, hey, Michael, you shouldn't be hitting the baby. So anyway, then after that, whenever you bothered him, he would say, no, no, Susan, honey. No, no, Susan, honey. <laughs> so, but then eventually I thought, well, i got to do something. So I set up a spot in, on the dining room table. I put the table pad on there, put his gas station up there, and you couldn't reach that high. And then everybody was happy. <laughs> anyway, right. I just thought you might like that story. Did it work? Okay. All right, Tom, whenever you're ready. No, what do I say? You say, happy birthday, Aunt Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, thank God we have you. I don't know what Rosalie and I, we would probably have been dead years ago if it hadn't been for you, Sue. I know we've had some rough times when I used to call you a son of a bitch, and you used to call me a son of a bitch right there. And then I went to, I felt bad about it, and I went to confession, and I told the priest, I says, I called my daughter a son of a bitch, and she called me a son of a bitch. And, and you know what he said? He says, Mr. Pray for patience. <laughs> Sue, I, I don't know how the hell you do it. You don't let me do anything. And, and, and you, you really kept me alive a couple times. I shouldn't say things that I think, so, but I love you. That's sweet. And that's the end of the rope. Happy birthday, Sue. Thanks for giving me your end of the house. It's been awesome. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Sue, thank you so much for being such a great sister and helping me raise my family. You were absolutely amazing when you helped me in Atlanta for sure and throughout all the years. You are wonderful. Love you. Sue, on your 65th birthday, I just want to say happy birthday and how much we all love and appreciate you out of all the people I know. Uh, I don't know anybody who's more generous than you or selfless than you, and I want to thank you for what you did for Clark through these years and Mary's kids and our kids and our combined families, but we are really lucky to have you in our lives. So I hope on your 65th fifth birthday that your best present is you realize how much we all really love and care for you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Aunt Sue. I hope you have a great time. Um, thank you for being my favorite aunt and doing what you do. And um, so it's your 65th birthday, and um, I got you a big present. Happy birthday, Sue. Hi, Aunt Sue. Happy birthday. Had it not been for your generosity, Olivia wouldn't be in my life today. Just want to say happy birthday and appreciate everything you do. Olivia, can you say happy birthday to your Aunt Sue? Can you say blah, 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 blah. Can you say blah, blah, blah. Olivia, can you speak? Can you say blah, 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 blah. Olivia? Olivia. <laughs> Tell your Aunt Sue happy birthday. Say blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Happy birthday, Aunt Sue. Happy birthday, Aunt Sue. Happy birthday, Aunt Sue. Hi, everybody. Just sitting around thinking about the good old times. Happy birthday, Sue. Happy birthday, Sue. Hope you're having a great, wonderful day. This has taken me forever to do because I am just not good at talking on things like this, and it just all sounds just horrible. But I want to thank you for being a wonderful sister. You saved me when I was a little kid from eating baby aspirin to making sure when we went camping 
that the house was clean and we'd come home to a bowl full of candy, which tells you how that always was, and um, making Thanksgiving dinner when you were only a little kid. We don't know where our mother was. No, I know where she was. And... You've just been wonderful. You used to make the three sisters eating pic uh, lunches, and we take our pictures. It was so much fun, and um, we've done had a wonderful life together. I'm so glad that you were one of my sisters, and I was able to share this time with you. Are we on? You are. <laughs> happy happy birthday, birthday, Aunt Sue! We love you. We're so happy we get to be here for your birthday, and we just want to tell you what you mean to us. And we were always so sad as a kid to have lost our mom, but we were so lucky that you stepped in and were such a huge part of our lives. And in the more recent years, I've loved being able to swap nursing stories with you, and it's been lots of fun. <laughs> Happy birthday there, Susan, honey. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm glad to be able to celebrate this big day with you. Um, you made a couple of my birthdays very special. One of my most favorite birthdays that you made special is when you told the Florida sisters that you were going to, for their birthdays, clean their houses top to bottom and have dinner waiting for them. And I was so happy my birthday came first. You cleaned my house top to bottom, my, my dinner was fabulous, and none of the other sisters got that. <laughs> so thank you, Susie. And also, I would like to, to say how much I appreciate everything you've done for my family and myself, especially you seem to always be there when we're sick. Um, you always come to my, when Katie had her heart surgery and you had to come to dump out her little stomach pump thing that's gross, and then all the bandages you've had to change of mine in my life. I am really a baby. Hi, Aunt Sue. Happy birthday. Um, just wanted to say thank you for always being there for me and inspiring me to be a great nurse and give back to others. Tally wants to say happy birthday too. We love you so much. Have fun. Happy birthday, hey, Sue. <laughs> hey, we've been practicing for a couple days, getting ready to say happy birthday to Sue. So. <laughs> now you're as old as I am. I'm always happy when that happens. <laughs> yeah, you got about uh, two weeks where Two to three weeks when we were the same same age. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think about that? Hey, thanks for all that you've done for everyone. And uh, this is hard to hold this thing up. Happy birthday. Happy birthday Day to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Sue. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Hey, have fun. It's a going smile. It's going. Yes, it is. Okay, happy uh, 65th birthday, big sister. Uh, this is your brother, man, not your brother, Paul. I know sometimes you do can uh, fuse us. Uh, thank you for all you do, and happy birthday. Smile. I'm, I'm smiling inside. Happy birthday, Aunt Sue. Sorry we couldn't make it tonight. Thank you for all that you've done for us. We're looking forward to... Living close by and spending quality time with you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Sue. Happy 65th birthday, Aunt Sue. You know, uh, back when I was a little kid, uh, you made quite an impression on me and my brother uh, by taking us to the police station to make sure that uh, he and I would, would keep ourselves buckled to stay safe. And, you know, I've, I, I think I've got a little bit of a complex. Uh, you know, as you can see, I'm wearing my seatbelt now. Uh, but, you know, better safe than sorry, right? So, anyways, happy birthday, and uh, have a great day. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Susan Tamsher birthday. 65, 65, you're alive. 65, 65, you still drive. If you were a dog, you'd be dead. But you're alive, must be fed. Crazy, you don't need no meds. Now retire, you can hire anyone you desire. Craigslist, Craigslist, made an ad for my sister on Craigslist. We'll employ a mister to help my sister. See her hands are all blistered? Pay each day for doing what we say. Here's the bargain, be hardened. Get off your ass and fix her garden. Got a coop? Now scoop. Leave the chicken, leave the eggs, take the poop. And don't mess with my sister, mister.
Happy birthday, happy birthday, Susan Tam, it's your birthday, T-A-M-N-M, 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 that's right, M-N-M, not the singer, like the candy, like a pearl, you're a white girl, you go girl, sister, honky sister, relax, x slax, max out, now shout, 65, 65, I ain't dead, I'm alive, peace, love. You chill, dog. Wow. Sister Sue, 65. Mercy. I remember a time when I was about kindergarten or first grade, and I needed to bring in something for show and tell. I was a little down on it because all I could think of is the new shirt or underwear I just got. Sue came to my rescue. She took a brown paper grocery bag and outlined a cocker spaniel dog. She cut the bag so she had two sides. I was like, wow, my sister is creative. She wasn't done. She sewed the two sides together except for the head. She then stuffed the dog full of old nylon to make the dog 3D. Finally, she sewed up the rest of the dog. I was amazed. Unfortunately, I have no recollection of how my show and tell went, but I was super amazed by my sister's craftsmanship. I think I was in about second grade when the Detroit Museum of Art was having an art contest with the winner going to Disneyland. I drew a picture that I was sure was going to be a winner, but how was I going to get down to the museum to submit my picture? If my memory serves me right, Sue took me by bus to go to the museum to not only drop off the picture, but to tour the museum. I was awed when I viewed the display Bodies of Armor. I didn't win a trip to Disneyland, but I did get a pretty cool tour of the Detroit Museum of Art with my sister. In some of my downtimes, Sue's words of take one day at a time have resonated with me. I always know she is just a phone call away.